I'm Kevin Hoagland, the host of Gold Trails, and I'm here with my buddy Jeff <laughs> Williams. That'd be me. Oh. <laughs> hey, everybody knows that I love to track black sand, and I've been using machines to do that, and, I, and I've tried to teach folks how to do that, of, of using a metal detector and tracking black sand deposits and so on like that, to where I can come in with a, 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 a recovery system of any sort, and I didn't even realize it, but one of the new features on the white GMT is actually a black sand tracking mode. Talk about that, Jeff. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's a new feature they came out with a couple years ago on these newer machines. And if you look at the top right hand corner of the screen, it's going to say follow black sand amount of mineralization. Now this is a new feature that they just came out with. And the way that it works is as you're walking over these old washes or royals, uh, you're looking down at this number display, and as the number display increases, that means the mineralization is increasing, which means that there's probably a lot of black sand right below your feet. Now, the, the best thing to do in that scenario is to mark it off with a construction flag or something, and then what you do is you'll start to see a pattern forming in the wash. You go back later and dry wash it and get some of that flood gold because the gold's going to be on the bottom of that black sand, just like in your gold pan. So this is a new feature that I really like. And matter of fact, Jimmy Sierra made a comment about it too. And he said he's not really sure about how it's going to come about, how people are going to use it. But I've used it myself, and the thing works fantastic. And all you have to do is watch that number display. It goes from 0 to 100. And when you hit 75, whoo, there's a whole bunch of black sand right below your feet. <laughs> Jimmy said he didn't know how people were going to use yeah, it. Yeah, if you watch some of his training videos on YouTube, he'll oh. say, I'm not sure how a lot of people are going to use this, so we're waiting to see how that's going to evolve. Yeah, and to me, because I track so much black sand and I follow these things, on this on the GMT, is this is an outstanding feature that allows me, instead of having to make an incredible amount of adjustments to a machine for sensitivity and, and doing my gains, my sensitivity, and playing around with all right. of that, set the machine up now when you're using this are you setting this up in your normal gain yeah so everything can be set up normal i usually put it in fast auto track sure. and my gains are normal according to mineralization of course because right. in your higher grounds you're going to decrease on your gain but yeah everything is the same you just have to look down here at the right hand corner and you'll see that bar graph shooting over there and uh you'll have a bar graph and you'll have a number uh, i always look at the number i don't really focus too much on the graph right so when I see that number jump up to about 75, 85, somewhere in that range, I know the mineralization is good. I'll mark it, and then I'll start going up the wash. And you can actually start to see this, this like pattern forming in the wash. And so you'll mark it and go back and dry wash it. Now it's not going to be nuggets and stuff. It'll be that flood gold, that really fine stuff. Yeah, it's gold. But gold is gold. It's gold is gold. I've got to have that yeah. gold. <laughs> so for tracking black sands, this is one. This is absolutely the very best feature that I've ever seen put on a detector. I mean, in the past, we've had to do it just strictly by sound. We've had to overgain or oversensitize our machines. We're not really matching it to the ground. We're, we're kicking our, up our machines to where it would almost maybe not even find gold, yeah. but we're, we, you know, we're tracking dirt. But damn, what a great feature. Yeah, it makes it so easy. Yeah. So I love these things. I tell you what, I always tell people, if you're new to metal detecting, and get one of these things, because everything's already marked on you. All you have to do is pump it two times and you're ready to go. How easy is that? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ben. We got a big chunk of dirt down there we got to go I detect. So, Ooh, uh, uh, and I got some Chinese tunnels down there too. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to say. So come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to go grab a detector and I'll meet you down there. Okay.